Hi, good morning. Welcome back to Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl Faith, and here at Escape Forever Free, we are teaming together to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. Thank you so much for joining us. At this time, we're going to do our Kickstart Devotional Guide, which is aimed at helping you to build a healthy habit habit of spending one hour alone with God each and every single day. So we pray that you will click the bell icon, join this team and get the support you need to build this healthy habit, which helps us all to form the health, healthy character of walking with God. It's so good to have you. Please subscribe and stay with us. We're going to start off our kickstart devotional time together, which this video does in encouraging you to build that healthy habit with prayer. Father, we thank you for another occasion that we can invest in our spiritual wholeness. Father, as we um, share in this kickstart devotional guide in investing in our one hour alone time with you, we pray, Father, that we will not lose hope and we will, Father, not um, forget to invite others to come and share in such a benefit. I pray that you'll bless each and every one of us. And may our efforts, Father, draw us closer to you as you continue, Father, to draw near to us. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving and hope. Amen. All right, so this week we have our memory text coming to us from Genesis 47 and verse 27. So we have been practicing it. I'm hoping to recite it on Friday. So let's go to our memory text, Genesis 47 and verse 27. And Israel dwelt in the land of Egypt, in the country of Goshen, and they had possessions therein, and grew and multiplied exceedingly. Again, Genesis 47 and verse 27. And Israel dwelt in the land of Egypt, in the country of Goshen, and they had possession therein, and grew and multiplied exceedingly. May God help us to recall this in due season, and also to be able to use it to edify souls, even our very own, in due season. All right, so now we go to our Kickstart devotional guide, and it comes to us from Maranatha devotional guide. It is entitled Eternal Security. The key text comes that supporting the devotional guide is Zechariah 14 and verse 9. And it reads, And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day shall there be one Lord and his name one. The reading. So the great plan of redemption results in fully bringing back the world into God's favor. All that was lost by sin is restored. Not only man, but the earth is redeemed to be the eternal abode of the obedient. For 6,000 years, Satan, well over 6,000 years, Satan has struggled to maintain possession of the earth. Now God's original purpose in its creation is accomplished. The saints, quote unquote, of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. End of quote, Daniel 17, 7 rather, and verse 18. Quote, from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. Psalm 113 and verse 3. New quote. In that day shall, be, shall there be one Lord and his name one. End of quote. New quote. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. Zechariah 14, verse 9, quote, All his commandments are sure. They stand forever and ever. Psalm, 100 and, Psalm 111, verses 7 and 8. 
The sacred statutes within which sorry, the sacred statutes which Satan had his had hated and sought to destroy will also be honored throughout a sinless universe. Through Christ's redeeming work, the government of God stands justified. The omnipotent one is made known as the God of love. Satan's charges are refuted and his character unveiled. Rebellion can never again arise. Sin can never again enter the universe. Through eternal ages, or all are secure from apostasy. By love's self-sacrifice, the inhabitants of earth and heaven are bound to their creator in bonds of in dissolvable unit union in the place where sin abounded god's grace much more abounds the earth itself the very field that satan claims as his is to be not only ransomed but exalted our little world under the curse of sin one dark blot in his glorious creation will be honored above all other worlds in the universe of God. Here, where the Son of God tabernacled in humanity, where the King of glory lived and suffered and died, here, when he shall make all things new the tabernacle of god shall be with men quote and he will dwell with them for his and they shall be his people and god himself shall be with them and be their god end of quote and through endless ages as the redeemed walk in the light of the lord they will praise him for unspeakable for his unspeakable gift this morning's devotional entitled eternal security assures us that our heaven and the heaven experience the bliss the sinlessness the completeness of the creation of the heaven that we will be in on this earth and the absolute surety that sin cannot enter in again is promised to the saints not saints not only is eternity promised to us but with such a security that only happiness joy peace love and all the other fruits of the spirit shall abide therein we thank god for this gift and the many other gifts that we are expecting and promised for that heavenly kingdom may we all make it in and get ready now to share in all of these promises may god help us all right so now we go into our motivational hymn as we transition to wrap up this aspect of our um, kickstart devotional and transition into our one hour alone with god we are doing hymn number 642 from the old sda hymnal it is entitled just over the mountain we will do stanza three those who enter the city are the faithful few who keep god's commandments faith of jesus too there will lift our voices through the endless days in sweet songs of gladness and in psalm of praise we are never in home we are never in home see the splendor gleaming from the domes afar see the glory streaming through the gates ajar there we soon will enter never more to roam 
Hear the angels singing, we are nearing home, we are nearing home. Let us pray. Father, we thank you that we are nearing home. Father, please, all in the hearing of this voice will be ready to enter this promised land, this new heaven on earth. May none of us be missing in the hearing of this prayer. We will so claim, Father, this guidance into your heavenly kingdom. May none of us be missing when you come. Save us, we beg, because we truly want to share in this, these promises and we want to take others with us into this promise, eternal security. In Jesus' precious name we pray with hope and thanksgiving. Amen. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be now and always acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Walk good, but above all, please, walk with God. One love.